Has the uh, music uh, industry come up with a uh, more or less successful business model to uh, to come uh, to realize that uh, copying songs is uh, is not a major technological problem? I was out with someone the other night who held up their cell phone where there was a song playing. Uh, they didn't know what the name of it was. They held up their uh, their cell phone, yep. which evidently had a some kind of a voice recognition, Sh Shazam, and the name called, of the right? song yep. came on yep. the uh, cell phone screen, and they said, oh, I think I'll download yep. that. I like that song. Yep. Went to some free download site yep. and downloaded yep. the song. Yep. I think, um, I think, in a way, the music industry has not come up with a way, and in a way, I think that's a good thing. Uh, the question is, what about artists? Artists have always been uh, basically uh, exploited by the and same same with publishers. Well, so, uh, most uh, authors and most artists don't make a lot of money. They do it for the passion. Right? You're talking about visual artists as opposed to vocal artists. Even musicians, uh, 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 Madonna and Sting may be exceptions. Um, uh, Stephen King may be an exception. Uh, J.K. Rowling. But your typical author or your typical musician, they don't make a lot of money. The re the record industry or the publishing company keeps a huge degree of the profit, and they have this oligopolistic position that was created in part built upon the superstructure of the copyright law. What I think is happening now is with Amazon and with the threat of piracy, which is real even though it's illegal, um, and with the internet and digital publishing, the Kindle, etc., you have artists and authors now that can basically go around these gatekeepers. They can go around the big publishers. They can go around the uh, the, the, the the music industry self publish I think uh, self publish of, uh, and values. I think so I think in the terms in the case of music I think the problem for artists has been solved and that is if you sell a lot of or if you even get have a lot of music free music downloads of your latest song and you get a reputation and you become popular that's going to help you sell tickets at a concert so of course um, as Cory Doctorow who's a science fiction author in favor of Creative Commons and open culture he said um, it may be a challenge to find a way to make a profit in a world where information is easy to copy, but he doesn't know of anyone who can make a profit off of obscurity. <laughs> in other words, the, the real threat to any author in this huge world of millions of performers and people, you want to get noticed. You know, you want your stuff to get copied. You want to be, and then then you can figure out how to make a profit off of it. But if no yeah. one knows who you are because you keep it trapped, kind of like a search engine uh, philosophy, right? It's like a search engine <laughs> philosophy, sure. <laughs> if people start using your search engine, uh, you can start figuring out how to make sure. it uh, pay some money. I mean, why, why do academics publish papers and journals? They don't get paid for this. Sometimes they have to pay. They do it for their reputation to. Uh, to help beef their resume up, to get a job teaching at a university. Uh, there's almost every field you can think of, you can try to th see how people would gravitate towards using their creativity to enhance their lives in some way, whether it's monetary or not.